I smell, I smell like bacon when I left. I did go to a party afterwards, it was a birthday, and I asked everyone to sniff my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> smell my face. <laughs> Today I'm with aesthetic practitioner and cosmetic dentist Karen Doherty at her studio in East London where we will be discussing regenerative skin treatments and all things tweakments. So I came to see Karen a few weeks ago because she offered me a new facial rejuvenation treatment called the Neogen which as I mentioned was one of the most extreme procedures I've ever had but also had the most impressive results. So we'll be talking about that a little bit later as you're one of the few people in the area that actually offer this treatment. And then we'll be asking some of your questions about skin, Botox, fillers and all things face and aesthetics related. All right, ah. right, it's your turn now. Oh. <laughs> so I started as a dentist and um, it felt too limiting for me. Um, I was really interested in the world of aesthetics and really seeking out natural results. Um, and what really interests me now the most is the fact that we can really rejuvenate skin. After dentistry, because I suppose you would have studied dentistry at mm -hmm. university and then worked, did you then um, kind of venture into Botox and fillers and what did that journey look like? So yeah, so I started probably around sort of 10, 12 years ago with Botox and fillers. Botox is a great treatment. With filler I was always a bit more like, I, I don't love lots of filler in people's faces. The first time I ever did Profilo, which is like the first kind of biostimulator that came along, I was like, this is the treatment, this is the treatment I really love because it's not necessarily changing your facial structure. How does Profilo work in terms of regeneration and, and skin health? So it's an injectable hyaluronic acid, kind of like a runny honey, um, and it essentially it just it promotes collagen and elastin and you do get a kind of like a tightening contracting effect. Um, it's actually, it, it's a great treatment, it's great for a glow, they call it the injectable moisturiser. Um, but even since Profilo, there's been a bit of a kind of evolution, even some of the biostimulators we're now using. Mm. The, my favourite product at the moment is um, polynucleotides, which is from the DNA structure um, of salmon. Of salmon? Salmon. Wow. Salmon, yeah. and, do you, and you do this at your clinic? Yes. You offer yeah, yeah, yeah. It? That, how do you do that? What do you, how, is it injectable? Is it part of another treatment? Or? That's an injectable. So um, it has different, there's different kind of like concentrations of polynucleotides within the range. You've got a lower kind of concentration that can be used around the eyes. And nearly a replacement to tear trough filler. I don't do a lot of tear trough filler now because mm. of the complications with the polynucleotides. It's essentially just like regenerating the skin, causing tightness, contraction, oh. increasing blood flow. And that can also be used all over the face. Yes, it's also got a regeneration, so that's one that's very similar to Profilo. Mm. And there's another kind of like stronger concentration which will give you more of a lift and a contraction along the jaw lines and cheeks. What do you think is the the best treatment at the moment for skin rejuvenation, collagen production, stimulation? So I, my favourite, my favourite treatments at the moment are, I'm getting some fantastic results with the Neogen, which you've had. Mm -hmm, which I've had, which yeah. we'll talk about later. Um, Neogen combined with exosomes, I love combination treatments, that's where I think you get the best results. Exosomes we have to talk about because I'm also quite fascinated by exosomes and I've had exosome treatments a few times. Yeah, yeah. What are they? So they're tiny cell messengers which promote reduction in inflammation, speed up healing, reduce the downtime post-procedure um, and actually the combination, so exosomes, the use of exosomes alone will give you 700% more collagen and 300% more elastin. When you say alone, do you inject them under the skin or do you use them topically? So we're only licensed in the UK to use them topically. They are using them um, in America, uh, in actual operations and things to help mm. with um, healing. We're just not there yet in the UK. Wow, that's exciting, okay. um, exciting space to... Yeah. <laughs> um, so I would use them personally myself with micro in combination with microneedling or post-neogen treatment. So that would just help in, sort of encourage or promote the repairing yeah. in, a, in a kind of... So you're going to get reduced downtime, reduced redness, reduced downtime, and then you're also going to get an enhanced post-procedure result, so more collagen and elastin. Great. So talk me through what you offer at your clinic. I offer all the traditional kind of like uh, Botox, botulinum toxin. You're actually not supposed to say Botox, it's a prescription only medication, so you have to say botulinum toxin. Well, now we oh. know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Filler. Um, and there are different types of filler, aren't there? There are. There's different types of filler. There's different densities of filler. Um, I bet people would love to know about this. So where do you use different fillers and why and how? 
So different, you're going to use like a more kind of like a denser filler and around the jawline and around the cheeks. So anywhere where you're essentially, so like the emulating bone or bone, something. Exactly, that's it. So you'll literally lay filler on the bone mm -hmm. where you're trying to sculpt cheekbones or jawlines. Um, in the different areas, like you'll use just a slightly different density of filler where you're putting back the fat pads. So essentially with, with a tissue instead of yeah. replicate tissue. Yeah. Right. Um, it's it's all based around kind of like how your skull ages. So mm. you, it, it, this is like a common area people come complaining about is around the eyes mm. because essentially. Do you mean of sort of like um, of loss of volume? Volume. It's it's the first place you'll see signs of aging because around the eyes. Around the eyes. Ah. So it's people's most kind of common complaint. I look tired. I've got sort of lines and wrinkles, and the reason for it is it's like multifactorial. You've obviously got the bone. You've mm. got the l less thick skin so mm. like tissue laxity and what about lips lips yeah I mean I do lots of lip filler and, um, and what kind of filler do you use would that um, be a soft as well a very soft one there's one specifically for the lips and people often ask about lip migration and lip filler mm. migration what does that mean and what's happening it's a lot of the time it's too much product wrong placement um, but yeah I think personally with lip filler I don't think that people should be coming and getting it done every six months. There's a very, people think that filler disappears after six, 12 months. It doesn't. Mm. You've seen, I've seen actually some yeah. um, studies where they've done MRIs in yeah. patients years and years after. Like 20 years, it's yeah. there. Particularly behind the eye. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen Alice Hart Davis's MRI, the aesthetic journalist? She's got filler literally everywhere. She calls herself like the aesthetic skinny pig, so she's <laughs> an aesthetic journalist. <laughs> Happy to kind of like, yeah, and wow, her, her MR is quite fascinating. Amazing, so it's been there for 20 one. years. Wow. Yeah. And what other things do you offer there? Uh, microneedling with exosomes, mm -hmm. uh, Neogen. Um, also combined with exosomes. And, and so, what is Neogen? Because I doubt anyone out there, unless a real, real skin connoisseur, will know what a Neogen plasma treatment is. <laughs> so, Neogen is it's nitrogen gas that's been converted into plasma. It differs from plasma pens. Plasma pens draw in air and convert it into. Sorry, what's plasma? What do you mean by plasma? Plasma. So, plasma is actually the fourth state of matter. Too quick. This is like, hold on, hold, hold on. <laughs> is this too science? Is that? No, it's not. I'm just having a slight existential crisis because well, what have I been pushing into my skin? It's thermal energy. Thermal energy. So okay, thermal okay. energy. So it's, it's controlled. Heat. It's heat. Exactly. Okay. Any of the energy-based devices it will work on heat. It's not a, a, like a spirit. <laughs> no, but I love it. This is the fourth dimension. That's what we really want to talk about. What is Neogen plasma? What is plasma? Plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. Um, it's nitrogen gas that's converted into plasma. The plasma will provide deep heat to the skin, which will cause uh, whole skin rejuvenation via thermal energy. So is that because you're causing a, like a mild trauma then yes. to the skin and then it repairs itself as yeah, part of it? It's essentially controlled trauma. This is what most energy-based devices are work with, just controlled trauma that stimulates your body's own natural collagen. So could I light a match and move it around my face and get the same effect? <laughs> <laughs> that is not very controlled, is That's it? That's not very controlled <laughs> at all, no, sorry. <laughs> Just checking. So what other things, because I know you also offer some body sculpting at the clinic oh, as yeah. well. So the new, the Emerald Green, Green Laser, which is a, it's a, essentially a fat loss device, but um, also has multiple wellness elements, so helps with like mitochondrial function, gives you one of the side effects is that you have more energy. It doesn't shrink any of the fat cells that oh. don't need to lose any of their fat. Okay. So it's, it's taking the fatty acid out of the fat cells that are kind of like... Ex in excess. Ex yeah, 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 yeah. So how does this device work? It's a, you're calling it a laser. What, what does it look like and how does it work? So it's a non-invasive laser that uh, causes transient pores in the fat cells, which causes them to excrete out their fatty acids, so it doesn't actually kill the fat cells, mm. and this is what's actually really important about this device. Um, you actually need fat cells to function. You need it for production of hormones, mm. all sorts of stuff. So with this, it's only reducing the size of each fat cell, um, it's like a bit of a detox for your fat cells, fat cells. Yeah. and it's freeing up all this fatty acid so essentially what it's doing then is giving you more energy because you've got all that extra fatty acid ah, to burn. I see. So what are some of the other things that it kind of um, promotes or, or does? So reduction in cellulite, mm -hmm. um, increased mitochondrial function so better energy, mm -hmm. um, reduction in stress, mm -hmm. um, stem cell production and... Uh, so does that mean that it would also kind of help 
wound healing and things like that. Yeah, wound healing, improved wound healing, um, reduction in swelling. So it's sold as a fat loss device, but I actually think it's way more than that. It's a, it's a total wellness um, mm. device, biohacking. So last week I did a little Instagram shout out and asked you guys to send in questions for Karen. Um, so I'm going to do a little quick fire round and hopefully you can answer some of these questions for us. So supplements for aging, mm -hmm. big topic. Mm -hmm. What would you say the top five? Uh, energy collagen supplementation uh, actually collagen peptides uh, the one I use personally is one called skin aid mm. um, which is really great it's collagen peptides so it's in um, liquid form and is it a vegetarian capsule or is it fish based fish or based. fish based fish based mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it, the collagen peptides basically collagen alone doesn't pass through the sort of stomach, so you need collagen peptides because it's a smaller molecule that okay. won't pass through. Good to know, because I bet loads of people are just jamming Hydrogen, the collagen, yeah, yeah. collagen yeah. Down, their, down their gobs and actually not doing very much. Yeah. Great, okay. A, a probiotic. Yeah, probiotic. Yeah, probiotic. Look after the gut, yeah, yeah, inside yeah. out health. Yeah. Um, we don't have to pick five. No, that sounds yeah. pretty good. Okay, are there really no negative long-term effects of Botox? No, no. People always say that it uh, won't, that it will make you look older, it'll, but no. When I was first introduced to Botox, it was made very clear because I also questioned it and wondered what long-term effects of it were. Um, you know, large amounts are injected into babies and infants that have spasms and muscular problems, and yeah. so it's very, very safe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was it was first discovered. It's it, its use primarily was medical, so it was used for eye spasms, and I think they've discovered that they were seeing a reduction in the growth rate and that's how it then became um, an aesthetic treatment. Ah. So it was primarily medical. Got it. Does topical vitamin C really do anything? Yeah, but not everyone can use it. Um, some people are just too sensitive to use topical vitamin C. What you have to look out for with vitamin C as well, it's a highly unstable molecule. So when it comes to kind of like the packaging and stuff, you want it in a vacuum pump package. To so protect to it, protect to oxidise it. Yeah. Okay. So, I've oh got it, okay, so that means like dark glass, protected, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. non-exposed to lots of yeah. air and light. Yeah, and okay. if it's, some of them where they're kind of like droplets, if they've, you can see that they've oxidised, so you're not mm. actually getting the vitamin C. Okay. Alright, this next one is quite a good one for you. Being a cosmetic dentist, you probably have a great, um, the great knowledge of facial anatomy and structure. The question is, do fillers make your face sag and droop? You see so many celebrities with a bloated face. Yes, so filler, uh, I think too much filler will make you look very bloated because essentially what it is, it's a it's hyaluronic based gel which will draw water in as well. Um, I personally don't think filler in large quantities looks great in anyone's face. Um, the thing you have to remember about filler as well is sometimes, you know, if filler's been there a long time, because the face is moving, it's a movable structure, you've got the, the tissues, the muscles, it doesn't always stay where we put it. Ah, so filler can actually migrate in mm -hmm. the face over time. Yeah. Gosh, so, and if it's not dissolving quickly, I suppose, then it could just yeah. move around and do whatever it wants. Yeah, and if it's placed in the wrong way, it will make certain parts of the face look heavier. Mm. It's, all, it's, it's very much about placement. Got it. Okay, which lasers are best at promoting collagen and skin tightness? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the Neogen, but it's not a laser. <laughs> That's okay. Neogen. We're here to talk about Neogen anyway, but it's pretty good. Yeah, there's some there's some other great lasers. I think uh, the, I, I actually don't know much about lasers, I'm mm. totally honest, because I don't have one. Mm. Um, I think the Moxie laser is a bit of a good one at the moment, and the BBL, but that's me. Mm. Let's see what other people nice. do. What about thread lifts? Do you know anything about Ooh, thread lifts? Wouldn't touch them. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, lots of plastic surgeons won't touch them either. Uh, it's essentially just a thread that's passed down through multiple tissues and then it's pulled and contracted and mm -hmm. tightened. And actually I think people sometimes go for a bit of puckering around here. I just don't do them um, because I just think there's too many higher complication rates. How to enlarge the lips and how to, have how to avoid the common pitfalls? With lip filler? Mm. Not too much product, right choice of product. Um, as I say, my favourite product is the Tioxane uh, Kiss. I tend to not use oh, much of a 0.5 per, mm. per treatment. Um, I think when you're getting to like one mil and then you repetitively have one mil, 
yeah. it's gonna your lips are a small structure they can't take a lot of filler do you ever feel obliged to turn people away that ask for things uh, if I felt like someone was overfilled and it wasn't the right treatment, I 100% would tell them. It's yeah. my duty to tell someone. Mm. Um, and yeah, there's been occasions where I haven't provided treatment, yeah. yeah. What is the best treatment for acne scars? Oh, I think... But the, so the two treatments that I do and use um, are the Neogen and uh, Micronedlin. And Neogen is far superior to Micronedlin even. Um, it's just a, obviously a higher price point for a lot of people. Mm. But in terms of acne scarring, yeah, you can... You can treat it. Essentially what you're doing is causing trauma, forming collagen, mm. the skin remodels. What's the best thing that you can do for your skin if you can't afford treatments? The most cost effective way of protecting your skin is daily sunscreen, daily SPF. Even in the winter? Day, even in the winter. Fact oh factor. Terrible. <laughs> I used to be so good at that and in the winter months I just give up. But yeah. I will but you start do it again. again. Yeah, I will start I'm again. Dead. So now we're going to have a look at the Neogen treatment. I'm going to have a little go. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Very excited to have my second go on this. Um, and you'll talk us through the yeah. whole thing. So today we're going to do the 0.5 energy, which is a low energy, um, which will be more of a rejuvenating treatment rather than a total resurfacing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's All right. do it. Are you ready? Yeah. So there's no numbing cream today. No numbing cream today. <laughs> Good. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Good. One thing I did love about this treatment was that it got rid of all my facial hair. That's so nice, isn't it? I was like, I need to start shaving. <laughs> I didn't realise how much facial hair I, I had. How smooth you are, I know, I know, I know. So it feels, it feels absolutely fine. There's no pain. I think the most shocking thing is just the sound. And the smell. And the smell of singed hair. I smell, I smell like bacon when I left. <laughs> I like bacon though, so my boyfriend likes bacon, so it's fine. <laughs> I did go to a party afterwards, it was a birthday, and I asked everyone to sniff my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, because I felt like, if they can smell my face and are just being polite and not say anything, that's worse. So I actively went round and just told made people sure about what I've been doing. <laughs> smell my face. <laughs> One of the really exciting things I found when you did it last time was that you can go up to the eye yeah you can literally go on the eyelid and up to the eye and i think that's quite revolutionary because yeah. there aren't many treatments that you can tackle the really delicate sort of liney fragile yeah. skin so yeah that's such an amazing yeah i've had um other doctors say they've seen results like very similar to like a surgical blepharoplasty really yeah. yeah and that's basically like a, a sort of a surgical procedure on your eyelid that helps to uh, help with loose skin helps yeah, with loose skin yeah. that's awesome it's actually one of the things that i'd say most women complain about is they get older mm. we as women actually with this even comes down to like whenever you're doing Botox um, women naturally ha try to raise this because the skin becomes a mm, lot more lax mm. beyond a certain age you can't actually do Botox in some ladies because they actually use the frontalis muscles to, see. to keep the yeah the wow skin off it. a bit more tense you okay mm. shocking actually I get really bad pigmentation on my uh, top lip do you on the tash line yeah so this might help. It will help, yeah, yeah. So we're basically around the eyes. We're going to guard the eye eyelids. Um, sorry, the eyebrows. Look up for me. Look up? Yeah, I'll do underneath. Right eye. This is quite scary, this one. Mm -hmm. And like, you can close there. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Thank you. How's that? All right? Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> Give them the skin a good clean again. Okay. All right, so what's this? So these are the exosomes. These are the little messengers that will help promote skin healing, mm -hmm. reduce inflammation, and reduce your downtime post treatment. Oh, great. Yeah, and it feels nice and cozy once it it's is dry very nice. Yeah. It helps reduce redness, mm -hmm. it'll help with pigmentation. It just forms a really nice barrier post treatment. And is exosomes something that you can only get through an aesthetician? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was really, uh, really awesome. I mean, I learned a lot. So um, if you want any more info, I'm going to do a direct link to Karen's website and Instagram in the info below this video. And thank you so much again. You're very welcome. <laughs>